Grambling State has some bright spots in their defense last season with Lewis Matthews being the second leading tackler in the SWAC with 113 tackles and three sacks last season. Now, with this latest addition that's going to come into the Grand State Tigers football program on the defensive side of the ball, it could play some very big dividends with this latest secret weapon that Coach Hugh Jackson is bringing in to go ahead and add some depth as well as some needed playmakers on that defensive side of the ball. I'm going to tell you this. If this young man can live up to the bill of where he was uh, listed at before going into college, this is going to be something special to watch. We're going to talk about this young man right after this. You know, it's your favorite coach back at it again. Tip toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap me in the free to tell them to come on in. It's another positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on in this thing and get straight to it. Because they're like, Coach, wait a minute. What? Secret weapons? Wait a minute. Coach, you Jackson ain't got no secret weapons over there. Coach, what you talking about? God, let me tell you something. Y'all better quit sleeping on that grand fam over there. They're trying to put some things together on the offensive and the defensive side of the ball in which they're looking to come out this upcoming season and be competitive across the board. Not just in certain areas, in certain key positions out there on the field where you got a playmaker or two here and there that's going to show up and show out. No, they're bringing athletes in there to have a complete team to make them a run at winning that SWAC championship. First you got to win your conference. Then you get, excuse me, first you got to win your division. Then you get to the SWAC championship. And that's what Coach Hugh Jackson and the Grammar State Tigers football team is looking to do this upcoming season. Don't get it twisted. Coaches sit back all the time and they, they do an overview of their football team, understanding the different uh, parts of the team that they need to get some upgrades in. And that's what Coach Hugh Jackson is looking to do, get some upgrades over there on that defensive side of the ball. That's going to allow them to get more bites at the apple as far as with having opportunities to put more points up on the board. Grammar State has some ballers on that team last season, especially on the defensive side of the ball when you got Sunday Anderson being the fifth in the swag in tackles for loss, and he was seventh in sacks last season. But you got to have more pieces than that out there on that defensive side of the ball, especially in that front seven. Like I said, your DBs, they can get out there and cover and do what they need to do, but that front seven is going to be that key position that's going to well, – key positions that's going to get out there and push the envelope as far as we're making sure that they're wreaking havoc against opposing team offenses, causing them to what? Turn that ball. You know, Coach Hugh Jackson may have stumbled upon a player or two that's going to come in and do exactly that. That's going to help them get more bites at that apple to put more points up on the board. But we're going to talk about one young man right now in which this young man, if he lives up to the billing of what I've seen from him prior to him getting into college, man, it's going to be special with this defense. And like I said, this young man definitely can come out there and help uh, Lewis get out there and create all kind of havoc against opposing teams' offenses making sure that they make dumb plays or make, make silly mistakes that's going to allow them to get that ball back. Who am I talking about? None other than former four-star recruit Andrew Jones, linebacker, who's a transfer from Memphis University. Now, through two seasons at Memphis University, Jones played his freshman year on a special team in which he got down the field, made some tackles, you know, did his thing out there on the field. Now, in his second year, he played in 10 games, on the defensive side of the ball in which he had four tackles, one tackle for loss, and a forced fumble. Now, just looking at what this young man was able to do against Miss, uh, Mississippi State last season, it automatically, you know, I ain't going to say automatically lets you know, but it gives you some insight as far as with this young man being in the right position, what he can actually get out there and contribute to a team's defense for them to be successful out there on the field. And I think this young man definitely has that ability to come in and do just that for the Grand State Tigers football program. Like I said, Andrew Jones' ability to run from sideline to sideline to make tackles, that is something that you're looking for in a linebacker. This young man definitely is going to be a, a definite boost on that defensive side of the ball because now you got a one-two tandem out there at the linebacker position that can either play inside or out. Like I stated before, you had Matthews, who was the uh, second leading tackler in the SWAT, in which he played, you know, in the middle as well as the outside. Also, you have Jones, who was able to play inside as well as the outside. So 
Watching these two go at it out there on the field against opposing teams' offenses is going to be something to watch. Not only that, but this young man's ability to locate the ball as well as make himself small and scrape opposing teams' offensive uh, blockers to get up that field and make those tackles. Man, look, this young man is definitely going to be something to watch. I'm willing to say this. This young man is definitely going to show up and show out, having this opportunity to come into Grambling and do what he loves to do, which is ball out. And not only that, but he's back home playing in front of his home state. So if this young man can come in there and do what he did while he was at John Eric High School, Louisiana Mario, he's going to be something special for that Tigers football team. This young man was the 11th best prospect in the state of Louisiana. And that's scary. Memphis University had them on their team. And I guess they couldn't get anything. They couldn't figure out what to do with this young man. Well, guess what? He's now with the Grand State Tigers football team. And trust and believe, Coach Hugh Jackson and that defensive coordinator over there is going to have this young man lining up. And it's going to be something special out there on that field in which, again, they're looking to make a move this upcoming season. Having Andrew Jones and Lewis Matthews on the field together as one-two punch. Kind of reminds you of another one-two punch that was over across the way at a university over in Mississippi a for a couple of seasons that, you know, went out there and just let everybody know, hey, look, we're going to leave it all out here on the field. Trust and believe when these two get together and they get everything clicking in the manner which it needs to, this is going to be something scary to watch. I honestly believe these young, these two young men is going to raise some havoc for, they're going to raise some havoc in the swag this upcoming season, letting everybody know, hey, listen, you're going to have to find another way to get your running game going because if you think you're just going to come down here at us, you can forget it. But I got to say this, congratulations to Andrew Jones on signing with the Grammar State Tigers football program and definitely look forward to seeing what you can bring to the table this upcoming season for the Graham fam over there because you know what? Their expectations are going to be high because they're going to be looking for someone to come out there and produce and show up and show out every week, letting anybody know, hey, listen, the Graham fam is here to get this W. And if we got to put it on our defensive back and get sloppy, sloppy in the game out there for us to win it, the defense is going to prevail. So, once again, congratulations to Graham State Tigers University on getting this young man into their program and definitely look forward to seeing them do some phenomenal things next season. But, guys, Coach going to go ahead and get up on out this thing. But until next time, be the one and lead.